Hi, this is Phil Hartman with PH Fabrication and Horton Race Cars. Just wanted to give you guys a weekly shop update. Hope everyone's doing well. It's been a busy week here at the shop. Um, got a few cars in and a few cars out. Uh, earlier this week, we had the Cranky Yankee truck in the shop. Had to uh, do a steering up upgrade and, and then also uh, new Lexan windows and the fiberglass doors. So that truck left uh, actually last night and uh, hopefully see that on the track here uh, shortly when it uh, warms up a little. We also got a uh, Nova in, super stock Nova. And uh, we're gonna, this is in just for some larger wheel tubs. Also, we're gonna lower the back end just a little bit, uh, just to give it a little bit different stance. But um, hopefully next week have this car finished up. Uh, the uh, Nova in the far bay is in for a set of Zumi headers. So gotta give a shout out to Hedman Header down in Atlanta and uh, Jordan Vandegrift for hooking us up with uh, an awesome set of headers. And then you can see we've got uh, clutch disc racks and uh, we've got a few uh, top fuel teams uh, that have ordered some clutch disc racks. These racks are really kind of neat. Definitely makes life easy when you're organizing your disc. Everything slides in, you categorize everything. Um, so it really uh, organizes and helps a lot of the teams keep their uh, clutch disc inventory in, in check. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering how can you need this many clutch discs, but the average top fuel team probably goes through, I'd say 800 to 1,000 discs a year, depending on how many test sessions they could do. And also different combinations or just even just running them on the dyno. So each one of our clutch disc racks holds 800 discs per rack and uh, a lot of teams order two or three of them just to uh, keep their inventory up to uh, stock. So now over here, we've got the uh, Ford Lightning and a lot of things have been going on with the Lightning. Been able to get the uh, tunnel done. Everything is carbon fiber. Uh, so it's really turning out nicely. Hopefully I have this thing on the ground here shortly. So we've got a full carbon fiber tunnel which will match the uh, carbon fiber tubs. And uh, pretty much everything's gonna be carbon fiber on this truck, anywhere that we can put carbon fiber. And then, uh, like I said, everything's coming together really pretty nicely. Looking forward to uh, getting this thing on the ground. And in all honesty, it could go on the ground any day now. Um, we've got everything together. You can see the front struts are all ready. The rear end is sitting here powder coated and ready to go in so definitely uh making some good progress on on the lightning well that is it for the weekly shop update hope you guys all have a great weekend do want to give a shout out to uh, bailey industrial edward edwards iron workers uh, cleveland punch and die uh, hypotherm plasma cutters fronius welders um strong hand tools for your great welding and fixture table that you can see in the, in uh, the bay over here definitely comes in handy when you're building uh, clutch racks uh, also give a shout out to uh, trick tools and uh, racing junk for all your guys' uh, support without you guys we wouldn't be where we are today well like i said hope you guys have a great weekend and i'll talk to you all later bye